Dexter Henry here at Las Vegas Summer League with my guy, CP the Franchise of Knicks Fan TV. He's been out here a bit longer than me. I've been out here for a couple of days, but we've got to see the Knicks and see how they're looking, the young rookies in Summer League. Mm -hmm. What have been your thoughts and what you've seen from these young Knicks thus far? No doubt it's been Tyler Cole with Dex, averaging seven assists in the three games so far with the Knicks. Today's game against the Kings was his best overall offensively, adding 21 points and the game winner to close it out. Yeah. And I think the difference between the Kings game and the Nets game for Tyler Cole is much more decisive and very aggressive, especially on his drives early in this game. You could tell he really wanted to get himself into a flow early, and he did a great job doing it. The dimes have been on the money. He found Ariel Huckporty for two nice ones, especially yeah. in, in the first and second half, respectively. Just overall, his feel for the game, being a floor general, typically looking for his teammates first, it, that's been a great part of his game. Now, defensively, he, he needs to pick it up a little bit, but the best part is, is that as the Knicks have added more depth with the campaign and with the guards that they have, they can kind of bring him along slowly into the program. So, but so far, so good for him. Uh, so far, so good for Kolek. Talk to Kolek about that. He said he wanted to be more aggressive in that third game, and we definitely saw that. Yeah. Any other rookies standing out in your eyes? And let's talk about the first round pick, Pacom sure. Dadier. Yeah. A little up and down for him. Felt like he was getting the pace of the NBA game in his second game. Yeah. Struggled a bit in the third game. Are you liking anything you see from him thus far in summer league? Yeah, what I like about Dadie is his potential. He's got good frame, a good size as a wing, and the Knicks are bringing in more wings with Bridges and OG Ananobi. So they have time for Dadie to come in. Maybe he goes to Westchester, develops a little bit. If he comes up with the main roster, he's going to be going up against those guys mm -hmm. in practice and just understanding the mental aspect of the game. You can tell he, he has a long way to go, right. but there's certain potential there. There's certain things that pop off the screen that you like. His shot looks good. It just needs a little bit more refinement in terms of his mechanics to go down. You know, Sometimes it's a switch, and other times it could be an air ball. And so, with Dottie, it's going to be a little bit of time for him, but I, I like what I see so far. Yeah, and you talked to Stefan Bondi of the New York Post. He talked to him about adjusting to the three-point line in the NBA right. and how that was a bit of a change for him. But look, you've been talking about this. You've been producing the content all offseason about this Knicks offseason and where they are. We talked a bit about this the other day. Where do you think this Knicks team is with all the moves they've made, getting Mikel Bridges? Are they in championship contention status right now in your eyes? Yeah, I believe so. I, I believe so, especially with number 11, Jalen Brunson. His ascension has been key for this Knicks team in terms of putting them in legitimate championship contention. You combine that with the fact that with the CBA, it's limiting the dynasties. Right. And so the parity is now here in the league where if things break right for you over the course of the season and you get into the playoffs healthy, which is a big thing for the Knicks, they have a chance because their identity is still there. He's their closer. He's their best offensive player, but they've added more firepower now, more efficiency, guys who can put the ball on the floor and create for themselves, especially with Mikal Bridges, who was the number one option with the Brooklyn Nets. OG Adenobi, he showed that flash. We can't forget about Julius Randle. Yep. And so they're putting themselves in position to be bona fide top three in the Eastern Conference. All right, Knicks fans have to like that with the chances of them doing that. Last thing for me, CP, because we've seen the youth here at Summer League, we've seen the moves the Knicks have made. But still not over. I know yeah. things slow down a bit now for us content-wise with yeah. the Knicks, but what else would you like to see this yeah. Knicks team do to solidify this roster as they move towards next season? They, they need much, much more insurance at the backup five spot. Okay. That's going to be crucial. Mitchell Robinson is going to bring a lot to this team. He's the elder statesman of the Knicks. Yeah. And especially his importance defensively and collecting rebounds for the Knicks is going to be vital, but so is his health. And if he's to miss any time, the Knicks can't afford to take a step back at that five spot. That's got to be the anchor of the defense. So they need someone who can fill in as a starter just in case Mitchell Robinson went down. Remember, Isaiah Hartenstein filled in admirably, oh, yeah. starting 50 games plus the playoffs for the Knicks. And so we have to wait and see what happens with Precious Achua. Is he going to be brought back? Is he going to be put in some sort of sign-and-trade scenario there? Because the options are dwindling. I yeah, mean, all, many the, right now. all the guys that yeah. you thought would have been targets for the Knicks are all off the board. But I believe in Leon Rose and his regime that they do have a plan. We'll just have to wait and see when it unfolds. See, that's it. Just got to wait and see. This guy talks to all the Knicks fans all the time. Yeah. The vibes are kind of immaculate right now. I say kind of because it can always change, but yeah. you're feeling good, right? This is the best time since the 90s, since the late 90s. This is the best shape that this Knicks regime has been in from top to bottom. There is synergy there, young players in their prime, an identity under Coach Tom Thibodeau. It's orange and blue skies. If they can stay <laughs> healthy, they're going to make some noise. All right, there you heard it from my guy, CP the franchise. Check out his work 
with Knicks Fan TV, always doing a great job, and he'll be doing some more coverage here at Summer League while I got to get out of here and back to New York. Appreciate it, my man. Dex, anytime, man. Great work this week, man. Yes, man. Great work, same. The Knicks fans, he said orange and blue skies. We'll see if it stays orange and blue skies as we head towards the season.